All right, welcome to how to build a homemade camera jib crane. Uh, we're gonna be building one today and uh, hopefully it'll work. Um, this is kind of, we're gonna put this video together as we go along. Uh, this is my friend Chris, who's Hello. one of our production crew members at Next Wave Graphics and uh, he's also one of the camera guys. Uh, so he's helping me out quite a bit. Right now we're gonna start off with a uh, tripod that you would get from a shop light. Just a regular store bought shop light. You can get these for anywhere okay, from like 20 to 50 bucks, depending on how fancy you want. We got one for $25. And the nice thing is, if you see back here, move out of the way, zoom in, we still have the shop light available. So for 25 bucks, you get both a shop light and the tripod for this. So we're gonna we're slowly starting to build things. Um, we purchased a Lazy Susan at Menards, and I'm gonna hold that up now. Oh, he's, yeah. This is the Lazy Susan mechanism. It creates a nice smooth rotation for your jib crane, and uh, we mounted that to a seven and a half inch piece of board, seven and a half square, and that's where we're at right now. So we'll continue as we progress. All right, here we have mounted the Lazy Susan to the uh, tripod right now. And as you can see, it moves nice and fluid. Uh, by no means is this a perfect job, but we're just gonna try and put this together and see what kind of shots we can get. So that's where we're at. Now parts that we use for this crane uh, is just simply a old clothes hanger, metal clothes hanger with wheels on it, as you can see here. Uh, we disassembled it and we were able to get lots of good metal pieces for that. So we get a nice square rod here. Makes it easy to uh, build the crane and it also reduces the cost. I picked this up at a garage sale for five bucks. All right, now we've uh, tightened up the bracket on the Lazy Susan, and as you can see, this is where the uh, the pipe is going to mount to. So now we're going to mount that back onto the tripod and continue from there. All right, as you can see here, we have mounted the uh, square piping to the assembly here got some holes drilled for where we're gonna thread the threaded rod through. All right, we've uh, done quite a bit of work since uh, I last recorded. Uh, let me show you where we're at right now. Uh, right here you can see we've mounted uh, the support beams to the bracket right here. Um, as you can see along here, uh, because there was added space, I went uh, nut, washer, washer, nut, washer, and then pull, and washer, nut, washer. So there's lots of washers and, and nuts in here, but it stabilizes it quite well, uh, makes it r rise and lower well uh, with uh, wiggling back and forth. It All right, here is our completed crane. Um, as you can see here, I changed out the tripod from the shop light tripod. I used an old tripod for, that was a friend of mine's. Uh, I did this because the legs are extendable. Uh, you get a little more height. And uh, because of the weight that the tripod ended up being, this route is a little more stable. Uh, for the counterbalance, I used just a regular 10 pound weight you can pick up at Walmart. Uh, I zip tied it, which, um, may not be the best route but the nice thing about this is it's easy to adjust you can just slide it up and down the uh, the rod so if you have a different weight camera um, you can change the sec the weight of the counterbalance uh, without having to unscrew it or remount everything uh, everything's pretty much the same here you can see how I mounted the beams to the, the apparatus and then up here this is how we mounted the tripod on. I used an old head from an old tripod that I got on eBay for like 16 bucks. 
uh, and then I just drilled three quarter inch through an old piece of wood and mounted the tripod in there and uh, used a little pipe clamp to hold it in place and then just drilled it through from the back. All right, last step for now, I added a little platform here, as you can see, uh, and this is going to hold the LCD screen. Uh, obviously, the boom arm makes it really hard to see the little LCD screen that's built on your camcorder. So I created this, and now you can go to uh, stores online or, or stores and get LCD screens for two, three, four hundred dollars, or you can do what I did and old your, use your old PlayStation 1. And it has a little five inch screen, has an auxiliary input on the back, works great for um, using as an auxiliary LCD screen. Uh, this works great for old uh, DVD players too, if you have a small portable DVD player. I'm just using my PS1 because I don't really use it very often and it works great. The other advantage too is I the camcorder I use is a Sony HC3 and that doesn't have a headphone jack in it. So I can use the auxiliary input on my PS1 and then also use the headphone jack on it and then I can finally have headphones while I'm filming something. So it so works as a very good setup. All right, we got everything uh, wired up now. I've switched over to my old camcorder just to let you see what everything looks like wired up on my Sony. Here I have my Sony camera uh, with the Rode mic mounted to it. The wiring is run down here. Then we have just some Velcro zips holding everything there. Here is just a regular coupler. Uh, it couples the video signal from the camcorder to the input on the PlayStation 1. Uh, these couplers you can just pick up at Radio Shack if you want. And it just couples the entire thing. Then we have all the wires running down here. And here is the PlayStation 1. Uh, you can see the video input on it and even though the signal from the camcorder is widescreen it shows up just fine on the LCD screen here uh, and there you can see the uh, camcorder is on and everything's running properly um, and then here you can see all the wires running into my power strip there and uh, it's kind of funny I had these bolts that I was gonna saw off but they turned into a nice little hanger for my headphones so uh, I can just plug these in, the headphones plug into the back of the PlayStation 1 and uh, allow me to monitor the sound that's coming from the camcorder. So it it, uh, it becomes a very professional setup and uh, makes everything run very well. Alright, now here we've got the jib crane outside. Uh, everything's hooked up. And uh, let's get a few more good shots of it. See how everything is lined up. And we're going to give it a shot. 